good morning to you all. This is Saru here again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple and quick card. And to start things off, I have used a watercoloring paper that measures or weighs actually 300 grams per square meter. I cut it to A6 size approximately, and then I put a piece of corrugated paper on top of it, and I just left sort of a half a centimeter around the edge there just to give it a nice frame and i just love working with corrugated paper this one is a little bit harder than the ones i've used before and it still bends you know but uh, not in the other direction of course and what i have done afterwards i have cut out this shape with spellbinders labels four and i think this is the largest one in the regular set and after that I have put it in a texture folder from Cuttlebug and this one's called Allegro and I just put this one through the Sizzix Big Shot machine. And what I'm going to do now, instead of making this one green, I'm actually going for some blue. And here I need to do something actually, I just forgot about it. I'm going to put this one back into its shape and I'm going to use these pieces of tape that I've had on my hand for a while now. And this one actually makes it, you know, helps me to keep these in place when I'm working the distress ink in. This time I'm working with tumbled glass from Tim Holtz and Ranger. And I'm actually working it in completely. I should have started with this one, I remember now. But I think it's going to be alright now as well. I actually all just started with this one, yeah. It's a good tip for you. Start off with colouring the paper after you have cut it. I did so with the green one and I did also do the embossing with the mats. But after running it through the texture folder, it just flattened out, so I just forgot about it when it comes to this card. So now you've got some colour there, and now you're actually ready to take it off. And you see, you're getting a nice white frame to it. So it gives you a 3D effect, or some depth to the card, without actually putting too much paper on it. I mean, this paper actually does weigh on its own, so you needn't put too much paper there, I think. And now I'm looking for my black soot distress ink. And what I'm going to do now, I'll try to get some of this black color on, on the notes here, just to give it some definition. You could, of course, run this with a black color in the plastic uh, embossing folder, but uh, I think it's nice to actually work with these sponge daubers. I tend to forget about them. Well, this is not going to be precise, and I'm not interested in that either, so I'll just leave it at that. And when it comes to fastening this piece to the corrugated paper, I have found that it's sometimes a little bit tricky, and that's why I have started using my tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. The first one I'm going to put just like so because I know that it's going to be hidden by this one. And since I know that this card is going to be pretty plain, I know there's really no way to ex escape having those uh, uh, staples showing, so I'm actually going to make a cross with it. So I'm just making a sort of um, a decoration out of these. It's a, it's a handy way actually to just put this paper down. You needn't worry of it actually falling off or anything like that. And when it comes to this lovely angel stamp, I'm just going to put some double sided adhesive foam tape. If I can find the scissors, that, that is. And I'm just cutting really carelessly because this is quite a big stamp. I actually got the room to use the big big sizes of these uh, tape pieces, so I needn't fiddle and uh, make them smaller. 
and I'm sure it's time for you guys also to start making your Christmas cards and I just felt like starting myself off with a simple Christmas card like this I'm not sure of what kinds of cards I'm going to make this year of course I'm not going to make um, the same card to everybody I like to make them different uh, perhaps one or two could be the same and I'm just going to put it right here as you can see and to finish things off I'm going to glue this one to the card base and then I'm just going to center this and just put it there so as you see it's pretty simple and I've got two cards that look the same but with different kinds of colors so that's it and I hope you're inspired by this I hope you stop making your own cards this weighs a lot so if you're interested in not paying that much for sending the cards I'm sure you should choose a more lightweight paper but I like sort of like this and I like this paper I just love this actually one of my favorite papers nowadays so here's a pre Merry Christmas to you bye bye